everybody, I am the Lazy Kiwi and welcome back to another Planet Zoo video. So last time, if you didn't see, I did build the entrance to the zoo, which I am very happy about. I'm so excited about this entrance. This is absolutely the best entrance that I've ever built in my entire life, so I am very proud of it. So before we really get into anything for today, let me first oh greet God. all of my VIP guests. If you guys do play the game and you do not know this, if there are visiting players and you click on them, you can say hello to them and get 20 conferences. I almost said conversation, conservation points, and I feel like this is just such an easy way to get some free points. But in today's video, we are going to be working on this area over here. If we do get this area done today, that's going to be the entire entrance area done. I will then start working probably on areas around here because it's looking quite empty over here. But I have so many ideas for this zoo. I will be putting up a lot of polls in the future for like which animals do you guys want to see. I did do that for today's video as well. And based on the title and the video that you clicked on, you do know which one one but let me show you guys anyway so currently as of today i am looking at this poll and the red crown crane has won so it was between the crane the capuchin monkeys and the torches i really want to start making a habitat so we are going to be start making one for the crane today the zoo is also doing pretty good money wise i did have to take down my marketing a little bit because it was eating away at my money and for a while there I was really losing money a lot quicker than I would have liked. So hopefully taking down the marketing a little bit will save us in that regard. But I also think that adding in another habitat is going to help out a ton with that. I do have a lot of ideas. This was going to be the red crane like habitat whether or not it won today or not I would have made it eventually so I do also have a place for the other animals on that list so you know if you guys would love to see one of the other animals eventually I will most certainly have a space for them in the zoo I have a lot of ideas to be honest and I'm so excited to get to them but for today, let us get straight into this. So let's get to the speed build part for this crane habitat.
habitat is complete we are inside of the gift shop now i am gonna show you guys the habitat from this level because if we're you know, on this level we kind of fly through faces the whole entire time so i'm kind of just gonna show you guys like this but if you exit from the gift shop area this is where you will find the red crown cranes habitat so i did block this off a little bit just so that it's a little bit more special when you walk over this way and you actually see them just doing their thing being all cute and the waterfall as well i did I didn't expect to put a waterfall into this habitat but then I looked at the rocks well at the outcropping in the mountain thing that I made and it was so perfect for a waterfall that I just had to do it but we did also make this building over here which I didn't show in the speed build so this is a restaurant there's also a bathroom on the inside so if you walk inside here uh, which it's not really wheelchair accessible, which I do not like much, but I, I struggled with the flooring, okay? But if you do walk inside here, it's a very cute little area where you can come and sit and just enjoy the skyline views. I do really like how this looks. And yeah, there are a few educational things and a bathroom here as well. And that's where you enter to enter the restaurant technically. But this is where you will be sitting. You can also see the cranes from in here, which I do really enjoy that because I mean, it's right next to them. I was originally going to put some seating up there in like a glass area, but it just wasn't close enough to the restaurant for me to actually be able to do that, which is sad. I think it would have been so cool if you could have watched over them as you sit and eat but i mean i'm still very happy with how everything turned out and i really like this as well because it gives the guests some shade and it just makes it a little bit nicer to look at in my opinion like just look at this this is so nice i am gonna play it is a little laggy when i play because there are so many guests in the zoo at the moment but look at how many of them there is. They're all standing so cute and that one's drinking water. And we do have some babies. They gave birth so quickly because they were pregnant and then I built a little bit with the game played and the next moment like three of them had babies. There's another baby. Do you see that baby? There is another baby over there. Oh my gosh. Oh, and another one. There's two babies over there. You see what I mean? They get babies real quick. So I am going to need to manage this habitat in particular. Otherwise, it's going to get a little bit overcrowded with all of the babies popping out all the time because they also get pregnant real quick so it's very easy to get babies in this habitat which i don't know if that's a good thing or not i feel like it's a good thing because that means more money from the guests as well as more attraction to this habitat so i i think it's a good thing i'm gonna go with it's a good thing but let me just pause again before <laughs> we lag the whole entire time look at how up close this one is hello there oh my gosh i love this so much this is a really nice habit it's a lot bigger than it should have been but like i just said they pop out babies like it's nobody's business so it's probably better <laughs> the bigger it is but this pathway it just continues on here you can just keep looking at the i almost said flamingos the cranes as you go along oh why am i so short now i don't want to be short like this what the heck okay i guess i i'm a child now or something oh there we go okay i've got no idea why that happened but anywho this is the last point of viewing that you can get i really enjoy this so much and then you basically just walk through a cave that leads you absolutely nowhere <laughs> it is eventually gonna go somewhere but for now not so much and now i'm flying I'm so confused. Like I was saying, this is obviously the main point of view for the guests. However, you can run along to this side over here and also view them from this little area. This is kind of where this thing is. However, there is more than one in the habitat, which I will show you guys that in a second. That's going to be inside here so we have two of them here as well so i don't know how likely they are to use that one there's another baby look at how cute it is though oh my gosh look at the stubby little wing that's adorable i love that 
<laughs> this area is very barren like there is not much going on here um, I could probably put some stuff on the walls but we're really never gonna see it we also do have a skylight though which is very nice for them and we do have a little camera here so if you are at home or something you can actually view the webcam and I do think this looks very nice but yeah this is kind of the habitat from above I love how it turned out as you can see it is quite large because it's this whole entire area I think this is probably the biggest habitat that we have yet so it is very large but again I do want a lot of them in here if we look at their terrain they have a ton of space but they could also have a lot of buddies like look at the bar there and they there are already 10 in here so I feel like it's already like there's gonna be a lot of them <laughs> well I'm gonna try to have a lot of them I do also need to make sure because I'm gonna keep the babies of course so I do need to make sure that we do give all of the babies contraceptives early on just so that we can prevent inbreeding in the future. I did also obviously label all of the breeding pairs of as male and female, just so that we, or mother and father, if that's the way that you wanna see it. But yeah, just so that we can be sure in the future, if I forget to give one of them contraceptives early on, that we can single out to the ones that need a contraceptive, so once they're older, I feel like that's the easiest way for me to do it. I do that with all of my habitats. So like, let's say the lemurs, for example, if I click on one of them, oh, that, that's a baby. I click on the one baby. They're also going to have F's and M's besides their names, just so that I can be sure of who to sell, who to give contraceptives to, stuff like that. That's just a tip for you guys if you guys would like an easy way to do that. Another tip for you guys if you guys didn't know this, but if you look at my animals' stats, they are very happy, almost 100% welfare. The only thing that's a little bit not as it should be is the plants, but as you can see, they're still very happy. However, if I go over here, this coverage is way over what it's supposed to be. And I do have a few things in here that's not really supposed to be in here. But since it is still in the areas, like the biomes that they like, it's not affecting it as much so if it was asia of course it would have been a lot better however it is tundra taiga temperate and aquatic things not all of them are asia though so these are north american but it does still work because it is in the right biomes so they're not as mad about it as they could have been which is something i didn't learn until recently and i'm very happy about that actually because a lot of the plants just wasn't gonna fit in with my vibe of the area so I'm very happy with the fact that I can do this so for those of you who didn't know you do not really need to concern yourself with the continent and only the biomes as well as the coverage like the coverage is almost at 100% and just look at their happiness their welfare is almost at 100% obviously if you want it to be 100% you're not gonna be able to do this but I feel like if you just want it to be high enough, you definitely can do this. Oh, I'm in the, I'm in the ground. Well, I'm so proud of myself. Like, my previous zoo, if you guys have seen that, it really wasn't the best. And I feel like I've improved so much because this is just way better. This is just so beautiful. Oh, I almost forgot to show you guys this as well. I am a... I, I, I can't even explain myself, like, honestly. There is also another viewpoint from up here. So if you're all the way on the other side of the zoo and my cat just jumped on my table, you still can see the cranes from this viewpoint up here, which also I love this because it gives you like another perspective of the zoo completely. You can also slightly see inside of their little indoor area, which is also very nice. I love that so much. But yeah, that's basically it for this whole area. So thank you all so, so much for watching. Please do let me know what you guys think about this habitat because it was so fun to make and yeah do let me know if you guys have any suggestions for 
future habitats or future animals that you guys would like to see in the zoo. Thank you all so much for watching and I will definitely see you all in another video. Do also like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> Goodbye everybody!